欢迎来到南安普顿大学孔子学院。Hello, I'm Mark. I'm the director of the Confucius Institute at the University of Southampton, and I'd like to、uh, welcome you today and introduce you to some of our staff. So first, we have Cici. She's our administrator. Yenling's one of our tutors, and she's currently preparing some materials for our forthcoming New Year event. And if we come this way. I'd like to introduce you to our Hanban teachers. Here we have、uh, Meng Fanjie from、uh, Xiamen University, who deals with our university、um, Chinese language teaching, and、uh, Hao Yue, who works in our local schools. The University of Southampton's Confucius Institute was launched in 2011. Each day, a team of five, based here on the main campus, works to promote Chinese language, learning, and culture. And the institute has established close links with schools and colleges. As a director of the Confucius Institute, it's really given me a chance to give the opportunity to many other local people. To study Chinese, and in doing so, learn so much more about the, you know, fantastically rich and ancient culture and history of China. Southampton University is located on the south coast of England, just 70 miles from London. It's one of the leading universities in the United Kingdom, and a member of the influential Russell Group of research-led universities. It has eight faculties, 23,000 students, and strong links with many universities and research institutes in China. 2011. Year. Since its founding in 2011, the Confucius Institute at Southampton University has played an important role, not only in strengthening the friendship between the two famous universities, but also providing a place for local primary and middle schools to learn Chinese language and culture. With the support from Hanban, the Confucius Institute will be the best place to learn about Chinese culture and language for everyone in southern England, as well as opening a window on China. The institute's partnership with the university helps it to grow and develop its activities in the wider community as well. Last year, the team, working closely with the law department here, linked up with Lloyd's Insurance in London for a conference on China-UK insurance law. The Confucius Institute, or CI, has a direct link with Xiamen University, one of Southampton's key academic partners. The University of Southampton has had a long-standing partnership with Xiamen,、uh, one that's very valued and、uh, is of great mutual benefit to, to both parties. But the inception of the Confucius Institute has allowed us to accelerate that partnership and bring it up to a significantly higher level、uh, than it was at before、uh, the Confucius Institute was founded with us. We also do quite a lot of work in supporting joint research activity. Uh, particularly between、um, our academics at Southampton and those at our partner Xiamen University. Over the past year, we've organised one international symposium on migration within China. We've organised another one on public policy in China, and coming up, we've got a, a further one on social policy. In the three years since it opened, the institute has made rapid progress developing its language programs for young children. This is a class at Mansbridge School, not far from the university. How do they look? <laughs> Very good. Clothing. And when, we, when you do it, you chopsticks. Between of the chopsticks. And the Chinese New Year, all part of today's lesson as Hao Yue teaches primary school children. China is a big country. And we thought it'd be exciting and fun for the children to learn about Mandarin and the Chinese culture. Try again. It's fun and interactive. <laughs> we want the children to experience something different, and they've certainly found it different.、Um, they, they've enjoyed it. So now, can we see his face now? Yes. It's not all、no. hard work. Okay, the so Chinese New Year brings a perfect opportunity for fun as well as learning. We really do it for children to get to know somewhere different. We would like it if one day one child 
took an A level and took a degree in Mandarin and then managed to achieve well in the business world. That would be an added bonus. But what we really want is for the children to be more tolerant and understanding of other cultures because they will meet people from other parts of the world more easily now because of the changes in technology. We intend to retain Mandarin so we will continue it in years three, four, five and six so it won't just stop at the end of year six. The children who want to will be able to take it up once they go into secondary school and hopefully some will take it on beyond. Another success for the CI's outreach programme is its work in establishing a Confucius classroom at Bohunt School, a specialist language college near Liphook in Hampshire. Bohunt has more than 1,300 students, aged from 11 to 16. It was the first state school in the country to offer Mandarin as a language to learn, and the curriculum retains a strong international flavour. Around 125 students are studying Mandarin at Bohunt. Li Qingwei, Bohunt's Mandarin teacher, takes charge of the immersion programme. The language has now become an everyday part of school life here. What we're finding with the students is they are really excited, engaged and motivated in learning Mandarin because it's unlike anything else on the curriculum. It's completely different. It is a challenge, but they enjoy the challenge. Also, what we're finding is children who perhaps aren't very advanced in terms of literacy skills are finding the characters very much easier to deal with than our regular Western alphabet words. The immersion programme is a phenomenal success. And what we find is the students that are following this immersion programme is that they are making more rapid progress across all subjects because it's hard, it's properly challenging, and they have to keep going when it's difficult. The nearest Confucian neighbour is the Confucius classroom at Brockenhurst College in the New Forest. Li Xing is the Chinese language teacher at Brockenhurst. In South Africa University, there are uh, Confucius Institute, and at uh, Brooklyn College, we are a uh, Confucius classroom. So they are higher level than us. Of course, we, we do a lot of activities at the college for many years now as well. But since we now working with uh, South Africa University, actually, uh, they bring a lot more to us. For Chinese New Year, a team from Southampton traveled to Brockenhurst to join in the festivities. Festivals like this are an essential part of Chinese culture. Events are arranged to mark all the highlights in the Chinese lunar calendar. My students, when they finish GCSE, actually they all love to go to Southern University to, to continue with their Chinese studies. And, uh, and of course, Southern University is so close to us as well. Dr. Ping Hua, a researcher at Southampton University, is the director of Chinese Art Southampton, a music and dance group unique to the region. It was formed in 2000 with the aim of encouraging the appreciation of and participation in Chinese art, culture and traditions. The CI works closely with the group and shares its aims and objectives. The CI supports a number of undergraduate modules focusing on China and the Chinese language. One of the modules is called Understanding Modern China. It's part of the Curriculum Innovation Programme and introduces students to modern China's economy and society. It's open to students from different disciplines. I've always had an interest in China since studying politics at A-level and this, this module is absolutely you know, brilliant for learning more about it. Uh, going more in depth and um, I've really enjoyed it and it's excellent for expanding my outlook on uh, the world, what's going on and uh, keeping up to date with current affairs. It's relevant to what I study um, in that it's a lot to do with economics but also culture and how these interact with each other um, and I'm really into global current affairs and I find obviously Chinese culture incredibly fascinating. Well as an economic student uh, I think China is probably the most exciting country in the world because it's already the second biggest economy. It's still growing really fast and uh, it plays a massive role in international trade 
Um, I think it's only going to grow in, in presence on the on the world stage. So I think it's crucial to know more about it. In just three years, the CI in Southampton has made giant steps, connecting Chinese language learners at all levels, from primary school to university. The Confucius Institute project, I think, is fantastic, and it's a, a project that has huge mutual benefit for uh, China and also for its international partners, including the University of Southampton. Uh, it's obviously allowed China to project into our university and our community uh, the culture, the language, the values of China. And equally, it's uh, in, a, in a very streamlined way allowed our students and our community to understand China far better than we were able uh, before the Confucius Institute was founded with us. Yeah.